everyone and welcome to another episode. In today's tutorial, I am going to be teaching you HTML. You're going to start learning HTML, what is it good for, and also the basics in how to create an HTML site. But remember to subscribe to my channel before I get into all this information. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. So let's get started. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's pretty easy. It's just the markup language that we're going to use in our websites. Okay, so with HTML, you're going to be able to create websites, the basic structure of the website. So let me show you exactly how to create a website with HTML. In our previous chapter, we created the index.html file so that we can start working on HTML. Okay, and we actually save it in our folder, which is our desktop. And as you can see, the folder was HTML. And here inside, we have the index file. So if I double click and I open the index right now, it only gives me this address here on top. As you can see, the window says index.html and it's empty. It doesn't have any type of information. However, this is already an HTML file. So let's get started by creating the HTML website. First thing that you have to do is go to the HTML document that we uh, the file that we created, okay? And to start this HTML website, it's very important that you go ahead and you type in an exclamation sign and then here it, it automatically fills in the doc type, which is HTML. This is just telling the browser this is an HTML document, okay? Now, uh, we're gonna hit enter and every HTML site will start with the word HTML like this okay and we're gonna close it and then the uh, well actually Visual Studio Code here it automatically closes the tag for me so you start with the tag HTML and then you close it using this okay this portion so if this thing didn't write it down for me um, uh, the, the usual way that I'll do it is just simply by hitting enter right and then just typing it right like this and there you go it's the same thing i just want to show you because everything in visual studio code that's why i like it it's easier because it's going to autofill everything for you okay so you start with html and then you're going to finish the html tag with a forward slash so um in between the html open and closing tags you have to add a header okay so we're going to hit enter and we're going to add the head here. This portion of the website is also using an opening tag, which is head, and it's and then a closing tag, which is slash head. Okay. Um, this portion right here is what we are going to use to change the title, which is this thing right here. Um, the index.html title, we're gonna use it to change that. And also uh, sometimes here we add links and um, metadata so that we can go ahead and actually use um, SEO and some other stuff here. So I'm going to explain that later on, but the first thing that you have to know is that you have to add a header, right? And now we're gonna create the body section. We're going to simply hit um, enter and then we're going to open a tag and we're going to call it body. We're going to close it and we're going to hit enter. Okay. So inside of the body section is this portion right here, this empty white space that you see here. Here on the body section is where you're going to input um, a lot of details like pictures, content, uh, forms, and a lot of stuff, right? And all that is going to go into the body section of your HTML document. Okay, so now that we have the body created, let's go ahead and go back to the header. Okay, so on the header here, um, we are going to change, as I said before, the title of our website, which is index.html right now. I am going to change this. And I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to uh, use the title tag just like this and then close it. The title tag 
it's not going to be index.html anymore. I am going to name uh, this site my first web page. So let's just name it like that. My first web, whoops, web page. There you go. And as soon as you are typing this information here, you always need to make sure that you save it. You can either hit file and then save, or you can hit control S on your windows or command S if you're on a Mac. So I'm going to hit control S and what this is going to do is that it's going to refresh instead of index index that HTML. When I refresh the page is going to say my first web page. Okay. So let's refresh it. And there you go. You see my first web page. Now we have changed the name of our first web page. Okay. Now let's go to the body section to create our first website. <laughs> the typical thing that you do when you, when you're starting in web development is to say, hello world. And, um, we are going to do this using an H1 tag, which is going to be on the body section. So inside of the body section in this area right here, we're going to hit a tab. Uh, the, the, the tab key, and we are going to input here, um, an H1. Okay. So an H1 is, as, as I said before, is just pretty much like a header and, and it's going to show like big, big letters. So let me just show you how it looks like. So H1 is this inside of the H1, I am going to type in here, um, hello world, meaning that we are live and that the world is going to be able to see this text because it's going to be inside of the body section. So as soon as I type in here, hello world, and I hit control S, then let's check out what does this do here? So I'm going to hit refresh and there you go. You see, now you see hello world inside of the body section of this website. Now, let me show you a couple of examples here. This is an H1. If we do an H2, and uh, let's just go ahead and actually copy the same phrase and I'm going to paste it here. We're going to do an H2 and then I'm also going to show you an H3. Okay. And then I'm going to show you also an H4, just so you can see the type of letters that you're, that it's going to be displayed on the body section. I'm going to hit control S and I'm going to refresh this. So you see, this is an H1 tag. Then this is an H2, this is an H3, this is an H4. So it's different type of formats, um, but it allows you to input some information inside. So there you go. That's how you create your first website and just with simple and basic information. Now, other than um, an H1, you can also add a tag here that it's called P, which pretty much gives you a paragraph. So let me show you what does that do? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put here a P tag. So P and then here on this paragraph section, you can type in, I don't know, a Lorem Ipsen. Let's, let's just do this paragraph right here. Okay. I'm just going to copy all this and I'll just simply put all this in here. Now, as you can see, this is actually written all in the same sentence and, um, and in the same line. And then here is the closing tag for P. Um, one thing though, that I do want to let you know is that it doesn't matter if we go ahead and we actually do this because it'll always show in just one simple line. If we want it to show in different lines, um, the P tag in different lines, then we have to create several P tags, but I'm going to talk about that later on. I'm just going to show you what does this do. Okay. So I'm going to save this and then let's refresh. So you see, I mean, it's an all in one line and when it reaches to the end, then it goes down and it goes on, you know, like that every single time. So that's what the P tag does. Now, if I go ahead and I put a whole bunch of P tags, let's just copy this and paste a couple of them here. I'm going to save this and I'm going to refresh. So you see, it does the same. It reaches the end and then it goes down. So it doesn't, 
it doesn't matter if you type it like this inside of your code, it's not going to be reflected like this on the real world or on the real website. So for that, we have some other tags, which I'm going to talk about in tomorrow's video. Today, it was just about showing you what is HTML and how easy you can create a website with HTML. So with this tutorial, we are done for today. If you have any questions, remember to leave them in the comment section below. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel. I always am uploading new videos on a daily basis. And if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And remember that you can always ask Lixie. Bye everyone. See you again in another episode.